like you made some steps over the first game? Yeah, I thought we were better tonight. Uh, I thought our activity was a little better. Um, still, we got to get our ball movement much better on the offensive end. Um, defensively, you know, we, we talked a little better, but uh, you know, we got to we got to make some big steps here. You know, we're getting ready to face some veteran teams here in the next couple of weeks, and uh, uh, you know, we just uh, given up too many easy ones because of communication. So. A lot of work to do. Uh, we knew that November 13th, we we're going to have a lot of work to do. But uh, uh, you know, it was a step in the right direction. Coach, Paul and uh, MJ make a minute. Yeah, I you know uh, thought Paul you know hit a couple buckets. I've got a couple big rebounds in the first half. Um, you know, and MJ just wanted to get him on the floor, get him going a little bit. So um, no, it was, it was a good start for, for both. Coach, after Colton State, you mentioned that thought everyone on the team thought their first goal was to score. Did you mention, or did you notice any individuals that tried to take on that defensive role tonight? Uh, not yet. No, I, you know this it's a process. It, it doesn't happen, you know, um, quickly. I think guys will get more focused uh, on on the defensive end. Uh, we didn't do a good job on the boards tonight. Uh, they had 20 second chance points, 16 offensive rebounds. So I was really disappointed in that. In fact, at halftime, it was 10-0. Uh, they had 10 second chance points. We had none. So uh, you know, our guys got to change their mentality. You know, we, we've got to become a defensive team. And uh, you know, our guys aren't thinking that right now. Along those lines, I see an 11 shot block. Do you think that's, do you put much stock in that? I mean, is that something you think you guys can replicate? Well, I, you know, I, I think Kenny's got a chance to, to block a few. Uh, I think McCall got a couple tonight. But, uh, you know, we, we've got to be active. We've got to challenge shots. Um, got to do a better job of fighting dribble penetration. Talked about the offensive boards. Is that you guys not finding their man after the shot goes up, out of position in defense to begin with? What do you see as maybe a little combination? You know, we, we're not blocking out. We're not physical enough on the boards. That, that's for sure. Um, so we, we've got to work a lot there and try to get some block outs and get more physical on the boards. Uh, a lot of it's out of position. You know, some of it's just leaking out, trying to get the offense break going when you don't have the ball yet. So I think it's a combination of things. Troy seems to have hit the ground running as a, as a freshman. What have you kind of assessed from him from his first? I'm sorry. Troy seems to have hit the ground running. He did a nice job. I like you know, the fact that he got nine rebounds. You know, that uh, got to the free throw line a little bit. Uh, no turnovers. So, uh, yeah, he, he did some nice things. You mentioned working with you this summer of slowing his passes down or not trying to make the AAU pass. What have you seen from him as a distributor? Well, just, you know, as a team, just got to be really careful with our turnovers. Uh, pretty hard to score if you're not getting shot up. And uh, so, you know, getting two hands on the ball and making simple plays is something that we'd sure like to see all our players do. You know, we can't be an effective offense if, if we're turning the sucker over all the time. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're getting better at that in practice, but uh, we're going to face some teams that will put on a lot of pressure. We're going to have to get a lot stronger with the ball. What second half adjustments did you guys you know, make in the second half? Um, I think it's a, a score by two um, I mean, What did you see just from the sideline that allowed you guys to, to kind of break away? Oh, I, I don't know. I, you know. I thought we got the tempo of the game going a little bit better, which which helped us. Uh, you know, the first half, I think, only took 25 shots. You know, just, uh, you know, we're, we're letting defenses get comfortable because we're not putting enough pressure on them. You know, we're not running hard enough. We're not playing fast enough. And our ball movement, again, not very good. Dribbling too much. A lot of guys. So, just a lot of things to work on. But I thought the pace was was better the second half. Obviously, we played with a little bit of kind of grit and intensity tonight. What's what's his confidence level like for? Uh, I'm just, who? Oh, sorry. Uh, Abu played pretty uh, aggressively tonight at times, especially he looked like defensively. Um, couple diving on the floor for balls and stuff. No, I agree. No, and that's what he's got to do. He's he's an energetic player, and you know he's got to play with that energy. You know, play with that uh, chip on his shoulder. He's, he's an undersized guy that you know, long arms. And his activity is what what makes him a player. And the reason we recruited him, I just I loved how hard he played. You know, and uh, 
has kind of fallen into the mode of, of a lot of our guys just want to stand on the perimeter and shoot threes. And, you know, I, I think he can shoot threes, and I want him to be aggressive there, but there's so many other areas that, that he can be aggressive. Coach, after a career game for Roman, he only played 11 minutes tonight. Was it just trying out different rotations, or was there a reason that he played some more? Um, he didn't block out a few times, and you know, I wanted to give some other guys some, some opportunities. Paul was playing pretty good. I wanted to take a look at MJ. So, no particular reason, but uh, he didn't play nearly as well. You know, 11 minutes, no rebounds. Uh, just got to do a better job. Back to Boo, the description that you gave kind of sounds a lot like Dylan as a, as a freshman. Is that kind of the same role you envision? Well, that's put a lot of pressure on him, but you know, I think he, he has some of the same qualities, some of the same characteristics as Dylan. You know? So, uh, you know, I hope that he would take that as a role model or, you know, path to follow because uh, he does have a lot of the same characteristics. You said on Friday, Paul's coming off a foot injury. What precautions are you taking to make sure you can play in not only today's game, but also on Fridays? Well, the, the trainers are taking care of him, the team doctors. They're letting me know how much he should go. So I'm just doing whatever I'm, I'm asked to do from the, from the trainers and the doctors. What kind of foot injury was it? Um, I'm not supposed to talk about those things. I just had a foot problem. 